Hello all, the topic of today's video is how to judge if a rule or a pattern is interesting or not. Now here uh, we have to remember our association rules. If you remember we had uh, discussed about how to generate association rule, okay, how uh, to mine that rule with the help of factors like confidence and support. Okay, so um, in this video we'll see that whatever rules we have generated are they always interesting are they always applicable or let's say are they always valid okay so if it is applicable or valid we'll say it is interesting but sometimes it is not so in that case it is not interesting all right so <clears throat> now pattern mining okay we have seen a lot of algorithms earlier which helps us in generating frequency that is called pattern mining okay so it will generate large set of patterns and based on the patterns we have our association rules but uh, we will now see that whether all the generated patterns or rules that we form the association rules that we form after all the calculation and after all the mining are really interesting or not are applicable or not okay so how do we measure this interestingness okay so there are two ways to measures here you can see objective and subjective so objective interestingness is when we uh, see the association rule in terms of support confidence and uh, correlation okay this is another factor we'll soon discuss it okay so this uh, the, va the values of these measures will tell us whether the rules are interesting or not so this we have already done so it's objective depending on the number depending on the relationship we can calculate these values and next is uh, the measure that we will now focus on which is subjective subjective is depending on the person's interest okay so uh, I may generate one value okay another person can generate another value that means another association so my association rule may not be same as his association rule okay so uh, that is why this line is very important once man's trash could be another man's treasure so it is totally subjective depending on the person's interest his subject his area of interest so that is why this is another set of measures okay so these are not fixed these are subjective and there are different subtypes here so the first one is query based query based we have seen queries if you remember dbms queries depending on the criteria Okay, we'll generate the patterns so it is query based meaning relevant to users particular request that is one type another type is against one knowledge base so depending on the users knowledge base uh, we can have certain set of rules okay certain set of measures so that may be unexpected that may be something new that may depend on time all right so it's a variant and the third category is visualization tool which we'll see again later so it is multi-dimensional depending on each dimension and then it is interactive also so mostly these are your subjective totally depending on the user's choice then next let us see let us come back to our support confidence so these were the measures which had which we used to consider in order to generate frequent mining set mining okay so now we will go into it and see whether it is sufficient or whether there are certain limitation okay so here we'll talk about snc snc are your support and confidence so whether snc are really enough to generate interesting association rule and association rule patterns you have uh, the format we see a tends to be okay so this was our rule this was how our use rule used to look like and then for each of the rule we had to we used to calculate snc support and count but now the, whether that is enough to generate interesting rules or not so that we'll check so here we have uh, sample data all right so it is also called two-way contingency table all right so here you'll see uh, there are two rules one is eat cereal and the other one is not cereal and eat cereal the other one is play basketball and the other one is not play basketball so here this 400 means that these are the number of transaction which is having cereal option as well as basketball option that means player who eats cereal and basketball if this one is player who eats cereal and do not play basketball all right so 
Similarly, the next one is not eat cereal. So when I say 200 here, it means they don't eat cereal, the transaction having no cereal, but they play basketball. Similarly, 50, they neither eat cereal nor play basketball. So this is two-way contingency, contingency table, and these are the sum and rows and columns. So accordingly, from these values, we can calculate support and confidence. <coughs> okay, so here I uh, have drawn the table again. And by our formulas of support and confidence, if you check that the transaction containing play basket, basketball is related to each cereal, but in, it's related to each uh, transaction it having each cereal. For that association, we have SNC this much, okay, so which, which is high, that means high SNC, meaning that they can be associated, that means transaction, I mean uh, the, the players playing basketball will eat cereal association rules can be generated but sometimes this may not be true it can be misleading okay so it is found that student eating cereal 75 percent is greater than more telling that uh, it is observed that transaction not playing basketball that means players not playing basketball tend to have uh, tend to eat more cereal so that means it is contradicting and see the uh, your uh, confidence it is very high so how can this be all right so they are contradicting meaning that the support and confidence uh, the rules that we generate with the help of support and co co uh, confidence rule is not always interesting sometimes we can have uh, cases like this where they are contradicting okay so that is why uh, then I have put this another example also now this example you will find in the book okay so this is another example that they, where we will, we will see contradiction so I'll quickly explain let's go straight away to uh, this rule so here it says that um, transaction buying computer games also buys videos and for this rule these are the support which is higher than the uh, minimum support 30 and 40, 60 is given the min sub and min confidence and here for this rule it is 40 and 60 which is high enough so they can they should be for made the association rule but then again here contradiction is there we find that uh, but so we'll not go inside the calculation we'll see that <coughs> uh, so here we have uh, this for this rule we have 40 percent and 66 percent okay However, it is misleading because if we go probability wise, we will see that 75% which is even larger than 66% of purchasing videos okay, is larger. So, uh, though the rule says that uh, it should qualify as an association rule by the, these values which are quite high. But then if you look carefully, we will see that transaction having computer games and transaction having videos that means people buying computer games do not buy videos if if we think okay so people who buy computers they don't buy videos and people who buy videos do not buy uh, buy computer games okay because they if they have the game then they will not be interested in videos and you have they buy the videos that means they will spend their time watching videos and they will not buy computer games so again contradiction Okay, rule says that it has to be related, but if we see, then they are actually negatively associated. All right, so that means the summary of all this means says that that our strong association rule. This looks strong. Okay, by checking the support and the confidence value, it looks strong, but then it is misleading. It's not always true. It's okay, so that means. <coughs> That means uh, the values, I mean the, the association rules that are strong need not generate interesting rules. Thank you.